to a start, and lo and behold, someone's got Dan Doyle to start for their team. That's an astute bit of judgment right there, as he has got them off to a handy little move into the front. Now, as much as a lead is a great thing to have in relays, it is really the tagging area that makes all the difference to these guys, where if you see in a race, these skaters have got to generate all their own extra speed to uh, come up with a pass on another team. In the relay, it's really just how slick you have gotten with uh, giving your relay tags that can make the difference. You can literally push your teammate past someone from an opposing team, uh, costing them no energy at all, and it's just good timing on your part that can slot your team up one or two places with every time that you make a change. And uh, a couple of clean changes aside, just as, just as you saw, once we were out there and just racing off the line, all those teams were very close together. Now that we've brought uh, the relay changes into the equation, these teams have spread right out, and there's almost a half lap between the first team and the fourth place team. But it's the uh, yellow team with Harry Stogdale. He's making a change to Dan Dorr, a little bit late down the straight. Makes it a bit scary headed into the corner. Now, the ideal change that these guys could possibly do would involve someone leaving the gate area quite late, or what would seem to the spectator to be quite late, so that they can really aggressively accelerate around the inside as they take themselves out onto the track. And then ideally, you want to be right there, standing, moving as fast as possible, waiting for a tag the moment your teammate comes out of the corner. So you don't even wait for both of you to straighten up or be rolling in a straight line halfway down the straight. As soon as the skater on the track reaches the outside line on the straight, they should have a teammate waiting there ready for a tag. And that's your ideal tag and it gives your teammate plenty of time to set up for the following corner because the tag's long since been and gone. Well, I'll tell you what, this yellow team are doing it a lot more polished than the others at the moment. And uh, they've almost built themselves a half lap lead out there as we've got Harry Stogdale out on course for the yellow team once again. Following him, we've got Max Materia from Bayswater in the green. Murray Lazenby in the red from Eltham. And it is Melissa D'Amelio in blue from Caribbean uh, in the team that's bringing up the back at the moment. We've got Dan Doyle back on track for the yellow team, making some serious headway into uh, blue at the moment with Ariel Chu out there for the blue team. Coming up nice and close, we've got green and red right here, so we'll see if uh, this changeover makes all the difference in how these teams are standing. Nice position change from Manassian, and uh, he's got a smooth line into the corner, but Paige Hartley's got a bit of speed to get out of there, and Manassian's just got to find that smooth line to get past. He's going to bide his time until uh, he's looking at a good one. Looking to do it on the next changeover, it's Thomas Horn who comes out, and they get the first change. Oh, it's a big push from Paige Hartley on Ben Coolbrave. It's got the green team out in front. Now, that bell, of course, in a relay isn't for the final lap. It's actually for the final change. And the bell will ring from three laps to go down to two laps to go. All teams have got to make their final relay change during the bell. And uh, leaving the last skater out there to do two laps. They've now got one to go, this lead yellow team. Blue's, of course, coming through with one to go, I think, actually. He goes on the back. Oh, 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 he has got one more. Yellow with first, green with second, red with third. And it was actually Armstrong that uh, set that confusion off. It was a blue team with fourth. They've come across the line. Now, let's give those guys a round of applause. Hopefully explain to you a couple of things about how the relays work and why it's important uh, to get everyone out there for and that wraps things up for tonight. We're going to have to hand the rink back over to Bayswater, who were kind enough to have the meet here to get their session started. And we're going to have presentations now for the junior B, C and D divisions. So uh, parents, friends and skaters from junior B, C and D, if you could make your way over to the far end of the far side of the rink. Uh, as we uh, clear things out for Bayswater to get their session started, we'll head over down the side there and get our presentations for tonight's racing underway.